Hey there, YouTube. Uh, I wanted to give everybody uh, who watches my channel a uh, little hardware update because I'm pretty sure you've noticed that I've been putting out uh, the Doom series of videos, which I do want you guys to check out. I put a lot of work into it. I uh, voice over the codex entries in the game. I made sure to record the game using pretty high quality recording uh, settings and there's no commentary so if you wanted to show somebody doom 2016 uh, some certain parts of it it's broken up per level and uh, I don't know I think it's great I, I, I like watching it myself even though it's my own video uh, it's it's exciting to go over but yeah I've been doing uh, the, the video game videos and I identify myself, this channel as, you know, a tech tuber channel. But I haven't been uh, having the hardware. And I'm going to put a change to that. I am currently going to be upgrading my current um, Broadwell desktop. 5775C machine to, with a Haswell E platform. X99 motherboard and all that quad channel RAM. I need the extra cores. I want less downtime. And also this uh, gives me the opportunity to have two computers up and running at the same time because it's not like I'm just gonna shelf this computer and not use it anymore. I'll have two computers up and running, and uh, this current computer will be my test bench, where if uh, any of you guys have hardware suggestions, things you want me to test, settings you want me to test in games, because that's something that I focused on in the past with Counter-Strike, I'll have a consistent platform that I will be able to test those things on because I use my computer a lot. I change things frequently on it and it's hard to have a consistent computer. Not only will th this be my test bench, but if I wanna use my main computer, which will have the Haswell E, which um, the processor I, I already have purchased, it's in my house, is the 5820K. But yeah, if I, if I want to use my new computer that is going to be finished in December. I'll be able to offload exporting in Premiere to the test bench computer, which will let me be able to get more things done. I'm also going to be launching a Patreon for the new year of 2017. I have the page right now, except I'm working on it over time because I need to come up with, you know, how the Patreons have, you know, if you support me at a certain level, you get this reward. I need to come up with those things. But the bottom line really is that I am working on creating a brand of myself as... The tech expert that I know that I am, but I sell myself short on. I've been working with computers literally my whole life. I've, I'm right now, I am 28 years old. And I think it's time that I took my hobby seriously and uh, try to help educate people out there, give people uh, build suggestions. I know, uh, Paul's Hardware does um, his monthly build videos. I love that idea. And um, I, I would like to do build videos too, where um, I try to come up with some budget builds, some higher end builds, and uh, see how they are. Because I, I, I believe, after working with computers for so long, that it really matters what you do with your computer it doesn't it doesn't it, you know it, it matters what game are you going to play play 
how long are you going to be playing using your computer? You know, you come home from work, you get on the computer for three hours, you go to bed and you play and you're playing Dota or Overwatch or whatever it may be for that, that amount of time, or maybe you're in college. So you want a, a small form factor desktop that you can bring to the dorms or something instead of having a giant desktop to worry about um you know what would the thermals be like in there do i have to worry about thermals do i not do i overclock do do, do i get a k skew processor uh tons of questions out there but it really all depends on your use case and um i think that's what people need a lot of help with is determining what they actually do with their computers and how they should be building appropriately um, recently, Jay's Two Cents, if you watch his channel, he put out a video where he was just frustrated with the, the ab abusive, I'm, I'm not even going to call them trolly because they're not, abusive comments that he gets um, about his weight, about being a sellout, about all of this uh, bullcrap pretty much what it is it's it's bullcrap and i think a lot of people out there maybe they just wake up in the morning and their whole goal of life is to uh, spread darkness everywhere around them but for those of you who just join in and, and uh, with that and maybe don't realize what you're saying people who put stuff on youtube put a lot of work into it there's a lot of work that goes into this. I mean, right now, there's no work going into this. I'm, I'm going to take this gameplay footage that I am playing and talking in. Right now, it's 17 minutes at this point of recording time, which is 22 gigabytes. And I'm going to cut it down to only the parts where I say interesting things. And... Cut out the parts where I messed up. But the bottom line is, YouTubers put a lot of their their soul, a lot of time, in each and every video. And for it's free. It's on YouTube. You watch it, and if you don't use AdBlock, which I really hope you don't i i don't use adblock because i want to support websites i go to i don't get spyware viruses i don't care what your excuse is for using it you won't get a negative thing for seeing an ad if you have a slow computer you might want to use it because some ads slow down your computer i use uh a different web browser than chrome on my phone sometimes because i can't load some websites because they're just freeze up on me but if you're using ad block you don't get you know the, the 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 ad at the beginning of the video or if there's one inserted in the middle of one at the end you, you don't get those ads and we need we need the support we need you to, it, it's okay if you, if you watch it and if there's a skip skip it we still get something from that but it's a, a big problem especially when he went over his numbers where he had record high viewers for a month, f like 5 million something, and only 1.16 million of those were monetizable. That's still a big number. But it would be better if it was closer to one-to-one -one of you know actual monetizable viewers. I, I, I had to think about the fact that he said that that's why he put sponsor, you know, embedded in his video where he will be like, today's video was sponsored by Cooler Master. Check out the new Cooler Master Cosmos S case today, which has enhanced airflow and all. You know, that's why that's in there is because you guys don't watch the ads or use ad block. So he has to put them in there. But if you put those in there, you could be labeled a sellout, which you're not being a sellout. You're just trying to cover your bases because s people are taking away your uh, your your means of uh, income. 
So I advise you guys to uh, start changing slowly over time. If you, if you need to use that stuff, set up whitelists. Whitelist, you know, YouTube for now. Um, you know, I really want to start a change in the viewers out there. A, v a YouTube viewer education program, if you will, where you guys kind of get more get to know more about the behind the scenes of what goes into even a small channel like mine, which I hope to get bigger, what goes into producing content. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. And it's not cheap work. And it's self-employed work, so it's, you know, you have to go up to your own standards of quality. You have to figure out um, what your audience wants, or you have to tell them what they want by just guessing. You know, I put up the Doom videos. I know that they, they don't get many views, but I did the same thing with another game, uh, Deadly Premonition. And I did that because when I was playing the game, it interested me. It was a neat story. When I was playing the new Doom, I was like, oh, that this this story in here it's not just running and gunning it's actually kind of fun and it's kind of humorous too so i felt the, the you know I, I went to youtube and i looked up no commentary playthroughs and i didn't like that many of them so i was like huh i feel like it's my duty to archive this story in the highest quality that i could upload to youtube so I set out to record it, and as I was recording the gameplay, I was like, wait, there's codex entries. There's lore in the game. They're not voiceovered. That's a problem. So then every three episodes, I sit down at my computer, I open up the codex, and I read them the best I can. It's hard. It's hard to avoice voiceover. Try reading some of those big words that pop up in the codex. You get tongue-tied. And you know you're being recorded. And you know you have a microphone in front of you. Feels weird. But I do it. And I do it knowing that barely anyone's watching it. But I don't care. Because it's up to my quality standards. I like it. But now I want to get back to my core, which is hardware. And I would like to put out... You know, the first thing I'm putting out is me building my new computer, me upgrading it, me showing the whole process of it. And I got a new camera to do that, a new digital SLR Nikon D3300. I got the lens that came with it. Uh, lenses are really freaking expensive. I would like to have a, a macro lens. I'd like to have, you know, better lenses and stuff for that. And... Well, you know, to record that computer build, but I'll I'll make do with what I got. But yeah, to sum it all up, get new hardware. Got a 5820K. Getting a motherboard, RAM next month. Going to be bringing you guys computer build video. Might be a multi-parter because I want to leave them about 10 minutes-ish. So if I can't fit it all in one video, it'll be two videos or three. And I'm going to be launching a Patreon uh, in January 2017. So support me. Check that out. Oh, I'll see you guys later.